welcome, welcome back if you are a subscriber. Um, yeah, uh, this is, well actually I filmed this makeup tutorial, but this will be the second, well the first talky talky video I've done in a while now. Um, yeah, life's been busy. Um, so, this month's favourites is actually going to be a combination of last month's favourites and this month's favourites. So, like I said, I've been crazy, crazy busy with work. I've had to travel for work and went to Canberra for a conference and everything. And yeah, it's just been really hard to try and get time to sit down and chat film and whatnot. I had to do a lipstick check because I was a little bit concerned. <laughs> um, so let me just uh, fluff up my hair. Alright, so how are you? How have you been? Um, me, I've been alright. I've been busy with work and with motherhood and yeah, just trying to find some time for myself to do things that I like to do. Um, so thank you to my mother-in-law for having Eleanor for the night. Um, it's been a much needed break. <laughs> anyway, we're, without further ado, because we have a couple of things to go through, um, let's get into my... I'm not gonna say, well, I was gonna call it bi monthly, but um, my favourite items for the last two months. So, January and August, August favourites are coming at you. Alright. Oh, I've got some stuff for book club too. Yay! I actually read. <laughs> Alright, so, this month, there's. <laughs> Uh, you might say I'm playing favourites with, a, with the, a particular brand this month, but I wouldn't speak so highly about a particular brand if I didn't feel so passionately about it. So, um, like I always say, I'm not sponsored, I do this for shits and giggles, I buy everything myself, I... Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna get that out of the way. So, my first favourite for this month, or last two months, has been a new face setting mist. This is the Mecca Cosmetica All Set Makeup Perfecting Mist. Um, so this is supposed to be like a hydrating one. Um, I... I usually use the Over Decay D Slick one. I have used the All Nighter one. My favourite between those two is the um, D Slick. Uh, but with winter and everything, I found this one to be perfect. Um, in actual fact, I think I may like this better than the D Slick. Um, which is just... <gasps> what? Um, but... I, I, it's, it's cheaper, sort of. <laughs> well, I guess, okay, this is 45 mils. I can't remember how much is in the travel size version. I think it's about, maybe about the same, but yeah, look, I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's, the real test will be summertime for this. It has such a lovely fragrance um it's not overpowering um it's non well i'm not very sensitive to fragrances but i haven't had any reaction to um the any fragrance that's come that that's come off this um my only 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 gripe with this spray is the actual um, mist pump um, 
it's not as fine, like, finely spritzed as the D Slick or the All Nighter one. Um, that's like my only gripe about this. I feel like I have to hold it further back when I'm spraying it on the on my face, except unlike the Urban Decay one where I can have it like right here and then quickly do the spritz. But um, so far, absolutely loving this. I want to see how it goes in summertime, but I have a feeling that I will probably favour the D Slick one for summertime. So yes, the Mecca Cosmetica All Set Makeup. Perfecting mist. Ooh. Okay. Next. All right. So, uh, this makeup look here is my. Um, what is it? What have, I don't know what I've officially called it because I just filmed it, but it'll be the along the lines of my um, Uzo X wedding day makeup um yeah so the eyeshadows that i've used for this makeup look is one oh, so beautiful this is the nars eyeshadow duo in charade so you've got your so described so you've got your um smoke matte smoky plum and then your muted mauve. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Um, when uh, Amber and Uzo uh, did my makeup, I honestly thought she was going to use that on my lid and then that in the crease, but it was the other way around, as you can see. And it's just, it's beautiful. I just, even just using it as a wash of colour, and I noticed the other. The other day when I was doing some makeup research that um, rose um, rose eyes are in like yeah I just I think it's such a like honestly it's okay I'll open my eyes it's so it's beautiful absolutely beautiful really easy to use um, Pigmented, soft, easy to blend. I have a couple of these eyeshadow duos and I I think they're great. And they're good for travel too. Um, yeah, and just FYI. <laughs> the next product on my two month favourite list is um, another NARS eyeshadow. And it was also used in this makeup look. This is the NARS, NARS Night Series Eyeshadow in Night Flight. I have the Night Flight Pencil, which I have also used for this makeup look. And it is described as black with cobalt pearls. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but if you have a look online, oh, it's just so pretty. <sighs> um, I'm really loving like, blues, like navy blues and, and whatnot in lieu of black and grey. Um, I think it, it makes my eyes stand out a lot more because uh, I do have brown eyes and they're a neutral colour and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, I just... I'm really liking navy navy colours on my eyes at the moment. So yes, the NARS Night Flight Eyeshadow Single. Night Flight Eyeshadow Single or something like that. <laughs> the next favourite, might as well just get these NARS products out of the way. But my next favourite is a blush, which is also blush that I've used for this makeup look and it's also been my go-to blush for the last two months easily I just what's that don't want to think about what blush to use just use madly oh my gosh this oh 
Thank you, Alex, for getting this for me. She um she went on the adventure and got it for me because I couldn't get it in a store close to me. And she said, look, if I can find it when I go up to Brisbane, I'll get it for you. Wait, was it when she went to Brisbane? I can't remember. Anyway, she got it for me. So thank you, Alex. And it is described as a shimmering tan pink. And it's one of those colours that's, it's not disco ball shimmer, it's, it's like a hybrid, it's very reminiscent of an hourglass ambient lighting blush, but not as dewy, I guess, like as you can see, it gives like a really nice sheen on your cheek and it's such a beautiful colour, so easy to wear, it's, ah, I cannot speak high enough praises for it, it's just so good. So, let's move on to my last NARS product, favourite for this month, and also used in this makeup look, this is the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in Belle Mer. I'll do a swatch on the back of my hand. It is described as a sangria, um, and I've worn it with the damned uh, vel uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil from NARS, and I've actually worn that underneath um, the, the couple of audacious lipsticks, so um, Vera, Fanny, and Janet. I've worn it under those, I've worn it under um, a couple of MAC ones like uh, Amorous and Craving um, and I've also worn it under Plumful and it's just a really lovely deepish base if that makes sense like it's it's not not too purple and it's not too red um, just trying to think, have I worn it under a red? Yeah, I've worn it under Hoax, Max Hoax, and it, oh, I love it. I've even worn it by itself with, um, just like a lip balm over the top, so. So pretty. So yes, the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in Bill Mare. Ah, while we're on lips, of course. There is a lip product favourite. Come on, it's not a Rainer's monthly favourites without a lip product. Um, so, today, or well, this duo month, it is these two guys. So, here is Melted Fig, and this one is Chihuahua. So, I'll do a swatch. So this is Chihuahua. Ooh, see, that would go well with Belle Mare. <laughs> and this is Melted Fig. Ooh, also goes well with Belle Mare. <laughs> um, so these two neutral lip colours have been my usually I well I usually wear fig during the week um, and I usually wait this one's fig switch I usually wear fig during the week and then Chihuahua is usually my weekend one unless I've worn a smoky eye or something stand outish on my eye like the green eyeshadow that I wore. And then I went to work and I showed Alex and Alex was like, oh, I know what would suit that. And she was talking about this and then she showed me it and I'm just like, damn it, now I have to have that. So, yes, that's the story behind me getting Chihuahua. So Chihuahua is my neutral, goes with a, a dark eye lip, unless I do the whole dark eye, dark lips thing. But... These are very long wearing, they are, as you can see, very pigmented, 
Um, they're hydrating, but when you layer it on top of itself, it can feel a little, a little bit dry. So um, whether you wipe all the existing product off and then reapply, it's totally up to you. But I just found that depending on how my lips felt, I would have to take off and then reapply a new. So these are just lovely products and they smell nice too it's like a like a lemony tart type smell i guess it's, it actually reminds me of the um Too faced la creme lipsticks whatever yeah they have that that similar smell so that's my lip product check my notes notes um oh. so i a lot's happened in the last couple of months guys um <laughs> so last last month i think it was you know at the start of this month i went in for um a makeup lesson and um makeup lesson slash application and um we did just this really um easy everyday makeup look and um she's like oh uh would you like to do a wing liner and i'm like eh why not let's do a wing liner so we did the the usual bobby brown gel wing liner flick thing and I came home and I was going through all my makeup and I'm like I want to do wing liner and I was looking at my my pens which are my preferred method but I dragged out this this here is my MAC fluid line in black tracks it's a soft matte black um, eyeliner and this brush, which is the uh, Manicare Artiste Professional Flat Liner Brush, and I thought, oh, you know what? Let's let's give it a go. And um, excuse me, let's give this a go. So dipped it in, rubbed it on the back of my hand, tried to work the product in, and then I would just very faintly push the black liner on and then swipe it back over and I was like what the F how easy was that and I'm just like no. let's see if we can get two for two perfectly so there I am in the bathroom getting ready for work do the same thing press swipe I'm like whoa whoa okay reload and then it kept going over it i went over it twice and i'm like that is by far the quickest eyeliner i've ever done in my life and that's quicker than the pens <laughs> so i think that that whole week and then just to change things up every second day um at work i was wearing wing liner because i devised the easiest quickest technique ever so thanks guys you know I've, I've fallen back in love with eyeliner honestly like I, I tried it with um what is that brush it's my sigma it's also a flat liner brush it's thicker and it's got the natural bristles it's not tapered because this one's slightly tapered um but still quickest eyeliner ever so yeah i got i got that shit down pat now kids so this has been my favorite way to do wing liner at the moment long story short <laughs> okay um i think that's it that's it but how unflattering is that face <laughs> um 
that is it. Oh wait, I have one more favourite. I just didn't put it in my basket. I'm gonna go and quickly grab it. BRB guys. Here it is. Um, so bit misleading. Um, my last monthly favourites, I actually held this up and it's in the thumbnail, so I feel like I've got to redo the thumbnail. But this has been such a treat. Um, it is the Mecca Lip Delicious Rose, Rose Lip Lip Protectant. This is SPF 25. So that's it there. I've scooped some out and I've put some in a little travel size pot. So I've got some in my bag. Um, but it smells amazing like all the lip deluscious yeah. I don't I, I feel like I don't need to waffle on about this because it's already really well known how much I love this but um highly 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 recommend it I tried on the other tinted ones but I felt like that this was the for me personally I felt like this was the nicest tint for me, like my every everyday tint, but um, love it. Eleanor likes wearing it too, so yeah, I'm harboring a future makeup addict. <laughs> um, so that's the beauty favorites for this month, guys. I hope that wasn't too long. I'm sorry if it was. I hope I was semi entertaining. Um, anyway, let's grab my notes again. All right. Ah. Oh. Guess what time it is? Rainers Book Club! Okay, so this month I read, or last two months, I read three books. The first book that I read, um, I think I have got the kids version, kids version of the book, but it is um, I Am Malala by Malala, I'm sorry if I butcher your name, Malala, it's Yafazi, Yafazi with Christina Lamb. Oh, wow, um, it's amazing how much you take for granted. Oh, is that you, Chris? <laughs> you can come and say hi. No, I'm shy. Aww. Don't you want to come and join my book club? No. Aww. Trying to convince Chris to do a video with me, but he's like, I'm shy. Sure you don't want to come say hi? Hey? Okay, <laughs> so after that um, minor interruption, <laughs> this book made me realise how, how well we have it in Western society, especially for a female. Um, I'll I don't mean to, but I'll bitch and whinge about a certain thing, aspects of my work. And, um, yeah, the fact that females can't easily get education in her country is just, yeah, it makes you take a step back and, and look at, at your life and how, how well you've got it. Um, I don't want to go too deep into it, just in case you do want to read it, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting read. Um, but I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Um, yeah, just some of the bits I got a little bit upset in, but yeah. Either way, 
it's a good it's a good book i i recommend reading it just um yeah yeah it's good to see it through see something so simple through some through someone else's eyes okay the next book is i've gone through a bit of a biography biography phase um but this one oh my goodness this is when breath becomes air it should actually say by dr paul kellyanne okay i'm gonna pronounce his last name wrong Kalan Nithi Kalan Nithi I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dr. Paul. Um so I'm just gonna call him Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul was a neurosurgeon who was diagnosed with terminal terminal inoperable lung cancer. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy, but from someone who's gone from diagnosing to being the patient and reading his story about that is just pretty amazing and eye-opening because how, how many doctors would do something like that? And um, I guess be able to empathize properly with their patients. Um, he, yeah, I like with Malala, I don't want to go into this one too much because it's just you need you need to read it yourself. Um, it's just it's it's kind of like the room it's a it's a beautiful tragedy except for there was no real happy ending in the end because you know he passed away um but absolutely it's such a beautifully written book i'm gonna leave it at that because i'm gonna get upset <laughs> and my last book for my book club it is <laughs> this is Agatha oh wait wrong book <laughs> uh, the book that I read has a very similar colored cover so I'm gonna go grab it back in a sec so after that um cock up <laughs> I got Chris critiquing my na name bloody pronunciation as I go and grab the book <laughs> but this is the book see they're very similar in color like they're both dark um, so I will be reading that one. This is Agatha Christie, Endless Night, and, um, yeah, you kind of get a little bit creeped out, and then you just, I'm not going to spoil it or anything, but you kind of go, <laughs> so he was an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more than that, but, um, I'd like to see, uh, they probably have made this into a movie, I think they may have, but it was probably done you know, in the 1960s or something, when was this written? 1967. So yeah, they've probably made a movie of this, but it'd be good to see a remake of that movie. And um... I reckon either Tom Hiddleston or Michael Fassbender playing Michael Rogers, but anyway. Yes, a really, really good book, really easy to read. Um, moments there where you're like, but, yeah, great. So, yes, I think that's, yes, that's, <laughs> that's the book club this, for the last two months. So, ooh, I did actually have time to read, surprisingly. Um, I kind of made time to read. Like, everyone, go away. I don't want to read. Uh, so, what's next? Oh, it's James Tom. Okay, so the last couple of months I've been listening to a whole bunch of different stuff, but predominantly, um, 
the three things that I've been listening this month have been um, two of 303's albums. One, I can't remember their names. I thought I had them written down, but I don't. Um, but it's like their earlier stuff. I know that they've released stuff recently. Nah, I'm not sure, but eh. Um, but like, yeah, the stuff from I think it's like five years ago or whatever. So, uh, yeah, really liked that. Um, I've also been listening to a bit of Daft Punk. Um, Chris has been enjoying that when he gets into my car and he hears the Daft Punk song. So, um, so pretty much all Daft Punk albums. I think I was missing two, uh, but uh, also they did the they did the um, Tron Legacy soundtrack and then they re they re-released a reconfigured one which is like the remixes of the songs that they did and I really really like the reconfigured one not that I think that the original one was crap but I preferred the reconfigured one and finally Frank Ocean's new album um, it's called Blonde with like the E in parentheses um, he also released a visual album which I've listened to it's okay I actually prefer the audio album of Blonde, um, but oh, <sighs> been waiting so long after Channel Orange, and then it was around this time last year where he was supposed to release this album, um, and it didn't happen, and everyone was like, Frank, what are you doing to us? And then it was a couple of weeks ago and they're like, oh, it's dropping out, it's coming out this Friday and it didn't come out. So I'm just like, you know what, Frank, in your own time, buddy, just, you know, I'm sure it's going to be worth the wait, but the wait is killing me. And it was, oh. I just need a moment. <laughs> it's such a great album I cannot speak high enough about it it's it's on level with Channel Orange and I absolutely love that album and I listened to it so much when I was pregnant with Eleanor and I've noticed that um, when she was a bit younger and when I have that album on in the car it was just like she was still in my tummy because she'd go to sleep or if um, certain songs come on, she she you know dance in her seat or something like she dance in my belly. But there's that kind of attachment to that Franco particular Frank Ocean album. Um, so yes, I've been listening to both, but predominantly listening to listening to his new album. So thank you, Frank. Finally. <laughs> um. Okay. Last thing, my etc. for this month. So, um, yeah, like I said, towards the end of last, so July, I um, was a away for work. Probably hear what I'm doing. <laughs> and um, also, Eleanor has adopted my computer so technically I don't really have something that I can just jump on edit videos do what I have to do um, while Chris and Eleanor are doing computer stuff so I splashed out with the help of my darling husband if he's listening which I sure I think he is I would like to introduce you to Jazz, named after my favourite apple. <laughs> yeah, I have a favourite apple. This, my cool wallpaper, is my MacBook Air and I have the 13 inch one. Um, I have the 128 gig version one um, and for our house that being in our house 
is a huge thing. Um, Chris being P or we're both PC, mainly predominantly PC gamers, but um, we both have iPhones, we have an iPad, but actually having a physical Mac computer in our house is a huge thing. Um, I must say the transition from Mac PC to Mac has been pretty good. The first week I was like, you know, that picture of the dog sitting at the computer going, I have no idea what I'm doing. Or is it the science one? Yes, the science one. I'll see if I can find it and I'll put it over here. It's a pretty funny meme. Um, but I was like that the first week. And then I was a little bit hesitant with using iMovies at first because I'm thinking, oh crap, it's going to be so hard. It was easier using iMovies than it was using Adobe Elements. I think it was 12, one that I use. Um, but then again, having that basic knowledge of video editing, editing and then going to iMovie, it was a pretty easy transition, but definitely think that iMovies is a lot easier to use. Um, which is one of the main reasons why I, I got a MacBook Air. Um, also, because I knew I was going to Canberra and possibly going away again for training, which I am going away for training in January next year. Yay! Um, so yes, I know that I'll be moving around a little bit and it's good that when I'm in bed and I don't condone it, I don't encourage it, but when Eleanor's beside me playing the Play School app on the iPad or watching iView or whatever and I can sit beside her and do some editing or um, recently job applications or expressions of interest um, I can do them beside her and then you know, put it down beside me and then watch her an episode of Hey Dougie or something <laughs> um, beside her so I like that portability and um, it's it's ease of use uh, sorry if I keep touching my head I'm just I wash my hair today so <sighs> um yeah so that's that's me in a nutshell for the last two months um what else oh Eleanor had her first public breakdown today um we went and watched the In the Night Garden live stage show today at a shopping complex and um, they only had Eagle Peagle and Upsy Daisy and then the girl who was running running the show and there was no Macapaca so Eleanor was a little bit devastated because Macapaca is her favourite um, and yeah after the show had finished she said she wanted more and I said well you can't have more because they've gone to have a quick break and then yeah the tears started flowing and I'm like come on let's go and get a baby chino because mum wants a coffee so we went to go and get a baby chino and a coffee I got her a baby chino she didn't want it so there I am sitting there eating her baby chino and if you look at my Instagram picture there's a picture of her standing there scratching her shoulder which is a big no-no because of her eczema um, crying so I'm just like oh kid but um yes eventually she calmed down and then when we were driving home she wanted to see it and I was just like no honey it, they 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 finished they they're doing their own thing now so oh I was like full of Hunger Games to the to the mums out there that deal with kids <laughs> that have their breakdowns regularly. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't too impressed and then I'm like when we're driving home like do you want to stop at the park and she didn't answer me and I asked her two more times and she didn't answer so I th and I turned around she was awake um, and I'm just like no no park we're going straight home we're having lunch so <laughs> yeah that was my afternoon <laughs> um, yeah I think that's all and my battery lights flashing so it is time to call it an end 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me about your kids' breakdowns in public. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. Um, until next time, be good, stay well, and um, take it easy. See you later.